for the place we left. So I will just open that code first. So today I will open with uh, Notepad++. So this is a little better editor. So I will tell you how to get it also. So you can do one thing that is you can go to the your browser and you can write down here Notepad++ download. This is a free software. Download it and install it in your system because uh, this is little better than Notepad because it gives you the line number and when you save the code also. So when you save the code, you will see that the code are in colored format. So this will help you see this keyword is in different color, the property is in different color and the text is in different color. So it will help you to easily figure out how the things are done. So you can see this, you will see the closing and ending of the tags also. So this will help you to divide your page properly. Okay. So download this, go to this place and you can download any of the version see for which ver version de depends upon your uh, on your system which it will be installed so just check it out uh, if you are using the windows or mac according to that download the particular version you require any of the version if you download all are good there is no difference in any other version or something so, so currently i will not update it so let me uh, proceed from here only so last time I uh, started with the mark you one let me run it and show you so let me okay so this was what we have done so yeah yeah take a chair and see. Are you getting? So, uh, yes, sir. in few sir. coming classes, I will be sharing some uh, files also with you. Okay. Like, uh, I will share the tag list from where you will see, like this. I will share this type of file with you in the coming class. So, that will be helpful for you also. Like, this is given here, and this will help you a lot. Tag, tag name, example, code, and then the example. Okay. So, let me proceed from where where we left last time so we did this we have done html head title then we started body then i told you that hr tag is used to make the horizontal row or line so if you, we see the code here so we made this line with the help of this then we have written this heading this is with the help of h1 then again we have put it one more line here this one this one is again with the hr and then this paragraph with p tag so we have done with a p tag paragraph tag then we have put it br br is used to break the line we wanted to change the line of the text so we put the br tag so we have we have broken the line into two lines we have taken a gap of two lines so we have put it br two times okay so one is this one and other is just at the end of the paragraph tag here okay clear then then we have h2 tag this is this is a heading tag which is little slightly smaller than the h1 tag okay so voice is not very clear Okay, just a second. Let What's me uh, change the microphone. Yes. Just a second. So I'm joining the link and just let me know the voice is very clear now.
Yeah, so voice is clear now? Okay. So I was talking about the H2 tag. I told you that H2 tag is little smaller than the H1 tag that we are using. And for the image, we are using IMG tag. Okay. And we can alter the size of the image also. So today I will show you how to alter the size of the image. So I can put it here height and width of the image. So if I define the height of our image, post 200 and width is also 200. So if I save it and if I refresh, I can control the size. I can put it resolution as 200 cross 200. So height and width I can control and, and it can be any figure means 300 plus 200 or whatever you want you see what you require the size of the image you can put it so you can see so you can alter the size okay so it depends on you so you, you need to alter the size in order to adjust it according to your website needs okay so for that you need to put the property height and width okay so there is uh, other property also there is a border also Suppose I put border as well. Sometimes it has effect on some images. So you see, there is a darker border here. Okay. So I put it 12. Why I put it so uh, big number so that you can see the difference. Okay. You can put it a very slight one also. Slight means if you wanted to just a little border, you can put. You see, very slight border is there. Okay. So that will define the margin of the image. Are you getting? So we can alter this properties of image and we can write it like this also. Okay. Clear. So image can be put in a two ways. This image which I have put it here is on the front of the page. Means I have put it this image on the page. Okay. But if I wanted to put this image on the background of the page, then I have to use the different tag. Suppose I download one background uh, image first because that should be of a larger size okay so I down, download a uh, wallpaper wallpaper background I wanted a plain background so I will download the images, any of the images, I will see the resolution should be higher. So suppose this is a resolution, so this can be a good one, this, will, this can could also be a good one. Because the resolution is higher, so it will be good for us. So I will click on this. <coughs> I will go to the website, because I don't want to download the icon. So always if you are trying to download a big size image, always visit that link and download the image. Okay. Otherwise you will get a very uh, small size of that and that will be, uh, that will, what will happen, I will show you that also. Yes. If you put a, no, what will happen, there, your image images will be repeated in the background. You will see the same image has a multiple copies in the background and it will look very uh, ugly or you can say will not be of, of your use. You have to remove it and you have to put something else. So there are two ways. Either you design it beforehand or you put, suppose I wanted to take this one, I will download this. So I will save this image as, I will save this image. Click on save image as and suppose I am just putting the name back. Always while saving the image, I told you this is a better way to change the name and put a, take a very small name, a very common name that you can use it properly. <coughs> so if I go here back to this so I can go to the body properties and I can write down here background and I can put it here the image that I have downloaded that is the back dot jpg uh, that I have to check it so let me check again whether it is jpg or not so let me go to the desktop first this I have downloaded 
so i have to check both the things resolution and that so uh, yeah, here the image is jpg if i go to the details so the image is not of that size which we were looking for it is 700 cross 4 uh, 37 let so we have to see that it is coming on the full page or not so let me save this file and check it so file is already saved because i am continuously pressing control s okay now let's go to this website my website and click on this okay clear have you got it so you can see so because of, because i have taken a proper size of the image so it is not getting duplicated but if if we put a small size of image suppose if i put this image this coronavirus image in the background then what will happen let's see let's change the name and put the same image that we have put it that is c.jpg this one so you will see this image will be repeated many times see you can see this image is being repeated so here where my cursor is see this is one image this is second image third one is again cut down here fourth one is again cut down fifth one sixth one and seventh eighth and ninth is fully so this this makes your website doesn't look proper okay and uh, always have a common sense that when you are putting a dark bad background write the text with a lighter color and if you are writing with if you are putting a background with a lighter color write with a dark color okay so that is the common sense that doesn't have to do anything with this that common sense you have to use okay? so i will put it again here so this you can do it here now we will move to the other tags i have completed to till h2 i told you the tags are till till h6 okay so this can be the question uh, it will be asked wherever you are going for the designer profile or you are going for uh, suppose a development also they may ask you this question that how many heading tags are there in html okay so they are by default six okay so now i will write down directly all of them okay previously i was writing along with the paragraph and all but it is not required to write with the paragraph i was just giving you example where you will use the headings okay so just i have shown you the <coughs> news websites because news websites are the better one okay now the h5 tag then the f6 tag is there okay this is hot tag this is fourth tag this is fifth tag and this is sixth tag i'm just writing it here you can write on anything okay i just want to show you the effects why it is not s7 is not there you will you will tell me you will give me the answer as i show you so can you see this and if you go to we check it the resolution so let me reduce it to the original one so this is the actual resolution of your website whenever you open any browser it is on 100% okay so can you see this 3 4 let's see the first and second also so this is the h1 this is now h2 or let me write down the left row ones also let me put the br here let me write down h1 and h2 also so you will be able to judge what is the actual difference so now this is the first tag this is the huh? yeah size is different okay okay yeah, this is this is uh, clear that size is different and why we don't have s7 tag can anyone tell me why don't we have s7 tag they because must have given pardon yeah speak again we can see sir it was too small 
Yeah, yes, too small. Correct. That is the answer. It will be too small. That's why if you type type S7 tag, it will be converted to normal text. This is normal text. So it will not be visible. Then there is no use of writing that tag. So that is why they have not developed S7 tag. So see, this has become normal text. It is the same size as the normal text. Okay. So that is why there is no S7 tag. So the answer has been correct from your side that it actually will be different from the this one. Okay. Clear. So that is why you see this the color of the S7 tag is not changed. Other tags are in blue color. Means this is not a defined tag. This is actually not any tag. Okay. Is this clear? So let's proceed further. Okay. So let's proceed further. So now we are going to talk about the hyperlink. So we'll talk about hyperlink. So what is a hyperlink basically? Ah, huh? pardon. Okay, it is true, but it's partially true, not 100% true. Uh, website uh, hyperlink is basically basically made to create a link between web pages. Okay, it can be an external link. Or it can be an internal link also. Okay, that's correct. So what you were talking about, it is correct. But I told you it is partially correct because you are talking about the external link only. Okay. So if I click on particular link and it if it takes us from our website to some outside website, so that will be an external link. And if we click on a link and it takes to one of the pages of my own website so that is an internal link okay so there are two type of links always remember that is why i am writing definition form here also okay so let's see how to make it for making that we write down a a stands for anchor then we write down a href that is hyper reference then we write down the yeah pardon Voice is not clear. I have changed the microphone. I think it should be clear. Okay, my side is clear, na? Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, from uh, so let's first build an external link. So I am building a link of Google. So I will put a href. Then I will write down. The link of the Google. So you can do two things. Either you can copy the Google link. You can go to the Google directly, and you can either copy or you can type both. So I will just copy this link, and I can come back to my website and I can paste it here. So here we basically write down the link where you want to visit. Then we close the anchor. And we close the anchor tag. This anchor tag which we started. And in between this here, here actually we have to write that particular text or that particular thing we have to put, which we wanted to create it as a link. Okay. So suppose I wanted to write on just a simple text, create a click to search. Okay. I just wanted to put the text here. So I will save it, and once I visit my 
application and if I refresh it here if I go back and see there is a link click to search and if I click on this link see the Google will open if, if you have a valid uh, working internet connection so you will visit that particular URL if the URL is correct so we, have, we are on Google and if we press the back button we are will be back into our website Again, so you this link you can create for anything this you can create for this one also I can create multiple links I can create multiple links I can have a link of HTTP yes, I can put it for anything it can be for Facebook also it can be for any other uh, site it can be for any site any means any site can be for any website I was just giving you the two differences any website any link can do it okay now you must have seen one thing uh, maybe you have not noticed it if I show you on the Google that will be much better so dot net database or something like searching I'm just uh, searching it randomly uh, if I click on this link you tell me the difference what is happening ok I have visited this link I uh, just wanted to go it back I am pressing the back button so can you see any difference here on this page huh? the, color of that huh, the color of this link has changed correct correct and the other links are still blue but this has changed to purple color correct so this is because there are two prop because there there are, there is a property of a link that has been changed so that property is known as a link a link stands for active link and b link that is for visited link okay active link is a new link and when you click on it it becomes the visited link okay so if you write on the body tag here you can mention the yeah 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 i'm repeating it see when you go to any link when you visit any link this become visited link okay because I have clicked on it and the link which I have not visited this is a a link active link okay you can call it a simple a link or an active link both you can call it and for this one this is a visited link you have already visited this place so see the color of the visited link and the active link can be changed okay <coughs> so by default Google has put it in the, in the setting active link as blue color <coughs> and visited link, link as purple color <coughs> we can also yeah recording will be shared uh, by today because actually what happened uh, yesterday they uh, restricted on the uh, we don't have to, they allowed they do not allow on youtube link so uh, i am uploading the videos in uh, google drive and i will share it to the uh, head and then you will get that link in the group and uh, from there you can download it okay so let's yeah uh, can pardon can go to the yeah yeah correct correct we can go there just i am uh, telling this link external link then i will tell you that link internal link okay how to go from yeah so let me complete this then we will not uh, leave anything incompleted and we will not jump ok so just after this so for what we will do here we can write, write down a link and there is one more property b link i told you a link is for active link so uh, suppose i wanted to make a active link as red and visited link as green i would just this is just an experiment you can put any color ok so let me refresh my website. 
Okay, let me change the color because uh, color matching is there is a problem of color matching. Let me change it to keep it as a blue color so that it is visible dark color and then change it to red color. Red color also will be visible. Okay. Because I have visited both the links, you can see they have changed to red color. Because I have visited both the links. Okay. Clear? Are you getting? If I change it to some other color, mm, white, let me change it to white. So both the links color will also change. Okay. So now it's white. Okay. So because both has been visited, if it has not been visited, then this will be a <coughs> this will become an active link. Okay. So now let's talk about the internal link. So what I will do? I will create one more file here first. One HTML file that will just uh, contain basic things. Just uh, because I wanted to show you the thing. How to switch between our own website. That is the internal link. <coughs> so this is suppose about page. We are a digital agency. Suppose I am writing this much only. And I am changing the color of the BG color. I wanted to save it. Now I will save it in the same location. I am saying saving it on the desktop only. <coughs> I will show you how to do it if it is on different location also. Okay. This is about about page dot html. So I will save it. Now I will go back to my original page. And in this code, I will create a new link. I will put a br one more br. Wanted a little space. Then I will write down a href. And I will write down the name of that page that is about dot html and then I will close the anchor tag and in between here I will write down the next page link okay or write suppose if simply I will write down just like in other websites you see about about us okay so this will be a link of about us on the screen you will see about us and when you click you will move to that other page so first let's see the url our url is currently desktop index.html page okay we are on index.html page this url will change so if you click on about us see this is an about page see you have changed okay so this about page we are on about page okay we have not got the color okay not written i have written the tag wrongly Color. Let me save it again and let me do that this again. Go back. Refresh it. Again we click on this about page. See. We are on another page. You see the URL is changed. About.html. So go back. See index.html. Click. Are you getting? We can do the vice versa also. We can create a link here also to get back to the original page. So here we will write down index.html. So we will write down home page. So let me go back to the original page first. I will click here. I am here on the about page. Now see the home page link. If I click here, I will be back to my original page. Are you getting? This is known as internal linking. You are linking your own pages of your website. And you are making a multiple images, I mean multiple pages, and then you are linking it. Okay. Third thing, if we want, if, if suppose this file is not here, suppose I, I copy about page from here, and I put it into some other location. Suppose it is in directly in drive. Okay, I pasted it here. I will delete this about page from here. See, 
I have deleted it. It is nowhere here. Next up, it is only there. Okay. So what I need to do, wherever I have copied this page, I will go on that page, right click on it, go to properties. You need to copy this location, whatever address it is. Copy. Come back to your page. Okay. And from here you have gone the original page. So what you will do? Before this about dot html you have to put the path. You have to copy whatever you have copied. You have to paste it. Are you getting? So in e directly it is about dot html. Now it is correct. So now it is correct. It will be for the user. It will be the same thing for you. It has the location has changed. Okay. About dot html. Okay, you have put it in desktop and desktop one is. I just need to let me close this and let me open it again. Let me go to the properties again. E colon slash. So let me open this index file again in the editor. Okay. E href a about dot html. Okay. Let me let us make one folder here so that. Previously, the URL see the URL has also changed. Okay, so this 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 will this we have to do if, if both the files are in different location. Are you getting? Suppose I wanted to make a downloadable file name, so that also is made with a hyperlink only. Suppose I will attach one downloadable file here. Okay, the link will be the same. Suppose downloadable file is like uh, I'm attaching this Java developer my CV. Okay, so this is my CV. So let's open this file and see exactly what it is. Okay, so it is, it will look like this. Okay, so let me attach this file to that place. So what I will do first, I will go to this file, right click, go to rename. So that you can get the name from here. Copy it, paste it here, paste it here. Then dot x. That is the extension of the word file. Okay. Here I will write down download. Resume. I go go back to this place. I refresh it. See a download resume link. Click on this. Sometimes it is not available. Copy the path. Okay, it is a doc file. That is why it's 
have written docx. So this is a doc file. And this is a older format. So change the name as resume. Okay. Now I will again. So you need to do these experiments. I am telling you because this you have to do. This is not like one you have done once you do and it's always final. You have to check constantly whether you have put it a correct path or not. You have put it a correct name or not. So see this file is downloaded. See this download size is gone. Okay. You can open the file now. It has downloaded. Click on open file. And you can check whether you have downloaded the same file or not. So it is there. You can I can show you in the download folder. See, it is the same thing that we have done. If you go to the downloads folder also, you can see this. See, you check the time. See, it is just now at a time. Correct. Got it. So you all have to do this and uh, I will share this file also and recording also. So today class will be little short I told you because we didn't did a uh, class in between. So from uh, next week the classes will be from Monday to Friday. Okay.